name is Sam and today we're gonna do a tour review. This is my first tour review in my channel. So today we're gonna do a Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus is kind of a fan favorite. Some people like him, some people don't. So let's get into him right away. So here's his toy. This is a Fallen Kingdom toy. As you may have known, he appeared in only one Jurassic movie, which is a little bit disappointing. So first of all, he's a carnivore. He lived in the late Cretaceous. He has little spikes. And of course, his most famous feature is here. His devil-like wand. His middle name is called the devil. And it's very simple. Because look, like the devil himself. This is a medium sized carnivore. Because in the movie, or you may have not seen the movie, spoiler alert, the T Rex kind of bit his neck and stood on it, and while well, background, it came up here. So obviously, he's a carnivore. You can see the sharp teeth here and also if you watch the game the beavers channel he calls carnotaurus tails and as you can see very closely he has yellow eyes and he has a button right here that can make him walk that is really loud and that really sounded like the carnotaurus in the movie but in Jurassic World 3, he didn't appear for some reason and it's showing us how the world is now going through with the dinosaurs. Without further ado, we're gonna open this bad boy. The instructions. More instructions. You can see they're taking out the black stuff now. Now as you can see, there's plastic holding it right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the scissors. As you can see, we took this bad boy out. And also the background of this looks really nice. So now we can get a good look. Let's just remove some stuff. So we got the Carnotaurus out. The feet is a little twisted and... Oh guys, look! If you know this app, you have to collect all the Fallen Kingdom toys. If you scan them on the app, then they'll come in the game. That's how you collect them. As you can see, here's the closest look we get. As you can see, the mouth closes. This is the head moves, as well as the tail. And look, we can move it down so it can drink water or get its prey. This looks very much like the one in the movie. So as you can see, the Carnotaurus's sadly short arms are even shorter than the T-Rex. Really sad. You can move his legs a little bit. Ooh, did you hear that everyone? The tail will also move the carnotaurus head. So as you can see at the very end it's very rubbery. This story is easily to be broken. Here it's kind of a soft plastic as well as here. Alright, so let's see it in action. Guess who's back? It's Baryonyx. I call him Barry. He's a cousin of the Spinosaurus. Let's see how they do. And also it has the same button. And the same. Well, let's see it.
see, the Carnotaurus was fairly matched because the Carnotaurus is way bigger than the Baryonyx. They're supposed to be kind of the same size. So let's move on and see how well the Carnotaurus does outdoors. So as you can see, I have these tall weeds, these, and it fits well. It's like baby trees. I really want to play more and show you guys, but alas, the video is coming to a close. So we're gonna do one final play. We have this animal planet set over here, a volcano set. And I bet you're wondering where's Carnotaurus? Or better yet, Toast? Well, he's gonna be appearing soon. He's just getting ready for this close up. So let's start this play. Can you see anything? No. Just kind of up the side. Do you see anything? No. It's strange. I thought there were more dinosaurs. Ah. Oh god! Help! Help me! And that, and that, and that. Come on, we have to go back up. Fallen Kingdom scene where they fight. Normally, a T Rex would win, but this time, in my version, I think it should have gone like this. But then the Carnotaurus suddenly got him. Off by putting his foot in his throat and him. that's how Toast won the Great War. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this toy review. I hope you liked the Carnotaurus toy. And to give a big like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Say toast!